and welcome to Do It Like a Dancer. Today I'm just going to do a little quick video to talk about what ballet teachers really mean with all of these crazy things that they say like, you know, pull up and squeeze your tush and shoulders back and down and ribs down and forward and shoulders back, <laughs> you know, and, and, and you know, turn out but not too much and don't tuck and don't, you know, sway your pelvis back but don't tuck it either and all this stuff. Um, they can be very confusing, and especially when you're trying to embody it, essentially. Um, so the essence of what they're talking about is alignment. It is basically stacking your body on top of itself with the skeleton structure so that you have the greatest possibility of movement. The reason that I'm talking about this um, today is because I've been recently working in the studio and there were, uh, there were basically two alignment issues that I had to address. One of them I could see quite clearly, which was this kind of slouch um, in my shoulders. So I, I had to work to strengthen the upper back so that I could, you know, straighten it, essentially straighten it. And then that automatically brings the chest up, which is something that um, ballet teachers say. So that was the first thing that I diagnosed. And then the other one was a lot harder to find but I realized that I've been standing with my pelvis slightly swayed back. Um, and so actually what I need to do is to straighten up the pelvis by, uh, by using the, the muscles in the lower abdominals uh, and, and, and stack the pelvis up. So essentially what this did is that it just made the curve in my lower back look less. Otherwise, you know, it's, very, it's a very minute little change but in making this change, I suddenly found that my, my legs were much freer to work and my lower back is a lot happier. Um, I've talked in previous videos about how uh, you know, bothersome my back is and it, and it does. And you know, sometimes I wonder if it's just you know, poor alignment. And this is one of the reasons that working with a mirror is really helpful. Um, uh, there are there's a lot of hate understandable for mirrors in dance sometimes and definitely you do need to learn how to embody the positions without um, you know just responding to a mirror and especially when you're working with emotion mirrors are useless however when you're working with um, alignment mirrors are really useful as they allow you to diagnose these these issues so the way that I'm standing here is looks like it's straight up and down but in order to do that i've really had to work on pulling the pelvis into a straight up and down position now i was thinking of it before as neutral but sometimes your neutral positions are not the correct alignment it's just because your body is used to standing in a different way and you have to retrain it um, to stand in the correct way so um, for the last couple days, I've had to work very, very hard and think constantly um, how to stand in this in this new alignment. But after a few days, it's starting to feel more and more natural, and I can tell that my legs uh, are are much freer to move. So that's all. I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments. Um, please do share this video with a friend if you like it. Like comment, subscribe, all the various YouTube things, you know what they are. Uh, I do have to say, as always, thank you to my patrons, uh, particularly Hamid, Charles, and Nesra, who uh, just totally rock my world. If you'd like to know how to support me, uh, or if you're interested in the backstage peaks and updates uh, that I don't share uh, anywhere else in my social media, you can go to patreon.com slash Jillian the Performer. See you next time. Bye-bye.